Okay, so we traveler. upgraded our swords, bought a house, upgraded my armor. Let's have a look here. See? Increases my health now. Have the armor skills increased by my necklace, and both of my swords are now of superior grade. And I think Dragon Bane is kind of out of charge. So unfortunately, I can't use that against all the wind. I actually want to look at the specs on that. Yeah, see, 20 points of extra damage to dragons. I could charge it, but I only have a petty soul gem, and it won't get much use out of it. Oh, right, yeah, you can charge enchanted weapons with soul gems. So, maybe it'll come in handy later. Most likely not, though. May the god watch over... What is it that you need? So let's talk to the Yarl. I know that was a bit late, but whatever. whatever. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible! You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. All do it. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will, but I need your help first. I haven't helped you enough Ulf already. and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Me. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. I, Hrothgar, is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn, maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. So, I guess we're back to the Greybeard. Woo! Pretty sunset. Might be kind of ominous because of all the red, but pretty nonetheless. Alright, I still have to turn in that quest. I should do that! Damn! Jeez. It's like, I, I, that guy probably thinks, oh well, guess that guy died up there. Why did I give him that accent? God, that was horribly racist. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I don't know at this or care at this point. Alduin? We heard the dragon ran shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the dragonborn? is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. 
Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Gotcha. So, now I have to talk to these idiots. This is a nice little place here. I always get lost in here. Jeez. Okay. I need to remember that before I go talk to those idiots, let's go turn that quest. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, that core? Oh. Interesting. That's a nice little detail. You can hear the Greybeard's training from up there. Hmm. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice detail. Anyway, let's river woods. Go back down to Iverstead and turn in that friggin' quest. Ah Ah, good to see you again. How'd that delivery go? Yeah yeah, it went fine. It just took me a hundred years. apparently you don't care. Also, it was nice that he just spawned right next to him, or we spawned, whatever. I've been to the mock. Wait, no, that's not the one I. Of... Well, mm. not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to. I delivered the supplies, climb, damn wasn't it. it? Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Damn it, that's a lot of gold. Thanks again for the legwork. Seven hundred and fifty gold. It's probably because I'm a bit over leveled. Okay, quite a bit over leveled because it took me so long, but. Anyway, yeah. It's because of my level. Let's just go up. I need to travel to Windhelm Stables first. It's a good thing I already have Solitude and kind of Windhelm on my fast travel thing. I don't need to take a carriage again. So, you know, hooray. I really don't like Windhelm as a city. It's one of the places you can get a house, you can live, but it just kind of the Windhelm's just kind of full of assholes, really. That's that's about it. You come here where you're not wanted. All day long, you pollute. Try to pick my pocket. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Yeah, that dialogue exchange Maybe down the there. Prime example of why I don't like Windhelm. It's somewhat... It's meh of visuals, just... You know, if you like snow and stuff, it's fine. And it's just not the type of place I'd like. Just a bit cold and give bleak. Us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come Mr. around. Are Fitting for Ulfric, the, the asshole who's being been used by the Thalmor. <clears throat> the Only the foolish or the courageous the approach a Yarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Yada, yada, yada. No, I don't want to fight the Empire, damn it! Mm. And what would you have? I'm again? not sure you belong here. As you can see, I have much that requires my attention. If you're inclined to gap, there are some nice prison guards you may like to meet. Damn it! Ah, fine, a lie. A fair point. Well, I'm always looking for it. Seems we're all. So long as your criminal past. I didn't have a criminal past. I was wrongly accused. Damn it! Well, welcome you into our ranks. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course, and the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But. The political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Fine, well, let's try the persuade, even though it never works. Aldo! It finally worked, the world jeez. leader of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? 
Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, victory across he's the against us. Do you know? Yeah, you're finding victory against the land. Sure. Being a jackass. Well, now we go back to Solitude and talk to General Tullius, who will also want us to join his fucking army. Ugh. Well, technically, you don't really have to. Wow, what happened to my frame rate? Best offense is a good defense. How many times you ask? That was weird. Solitude, look at that, that Aurora. Holy shit, let's go over there. Screw General Tullius. Holy crap, this is beautiful! Shut up, random NPC! Look at this! Fuck, dude! Print screen! The screenshot, they're... Let's get one with the moon in there. I've got some salmon to sell. Would you shut up, Admar? There. One without your stupid dialogue in the way. Fucking beautiful, man! <laughs> That's so beautiful! Alright, well, you know... Again, one of the reasons I love Skyrim, it's so beautiful! Yeah, I wanna take another screenshot! Yeah, it's so beautiful. Go to thinking. No, you're not Dragonborn. Also, yes, I can read your mind! If mind equals subtitles. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold meat. I meeting. remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. Okay, you were about to execute me. Now you think you could use me. You're insane. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legged. Yeah. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as... Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't. 